what exactly is, is happening at Disney right now? Is it firing on all cylinders or is there some special thing going on with the company? Uh, actually, we, we also have our rating, uh, buy rating on Fox. We upgraded that a couple weeks ago, but, but you're right. Um, Disney is hitting on all cylinders. It's a, it's a great reopen trade at this point, you know, really led by, as you said, that the D2C businesses, they added almost 12 million Disney plus subscribers. Estimates were for, for, for 7 million, we were at 10 million. And then the parks, as you said, re really record margins in the domestic business. It's really amazing. When you think about this, John, we, we said the parks are performing better than pre-COVID. And I know for a lot of us up here in the Northeast that have been sort of stuck in, you know, I don't want to say stuck inside, but certainly things have not been anywhere near normal for two years for us to get our heads around the idea that the parks are packed, right? I mean, they are, they are full. People are spending a ton of money and they're letting loose. It really is. There, there's a tremendous amount of demand. Um, you know, and it's really the, the biggest driver is the spending, whether it's the ticket prices or the food or the merchandise, the per cap spending was up over 40%. Uh, and the parks, actually, there's still more room to go. I mean, they, they, they were not at capacity. We still don't have international travelers back who actually spend more than domestic travelers. So even though they had, you know, record domestic year uh, quarter, there's still a lot of room to go as the, the full effects of the pandemics start to recede. Yeah, is there anything that you see changing or is this really going to be the roaring 22s? I mean, I understand, you know, the sort of the, you know, the, the, the bandage comes off. Everybody storms the parks because they haven't gone anywhere for a while. How long is there going to be pent up demand like this? It's really hard to say, but as far as the, the Disney park business is concerned, um, you know, there's a, a number of new attractions, the Star Wars attractions, the Avengers. We're, we're not at capacity yet. We think we'll get there over the course of the year. And then the, the international parks, Paris, Hong Kong, Tokyo, those are going to come back online. Those are certainly lagging but, but due to COVID reasons. But I look, I think you saw similar results at Comcast parks a couple of weeks ago when they reported I think we've got a, a nice stretch here for, for probably the next year where the comps are very easy and we're going to see very solid growth in cash flow. You know, we talk a lot about streaming because that's, John, we're in the media, so we love to talk about our, our own business all the time, obviously, right? So we talk a lot about streaming. The numbers are big, but is it making any money for the company? No, at this point, it's not for Disney. Uh, it is for Netflix. Yeah, it's not uh, really we're the leader in the space. Exactly. But for uh, for Disney... The losses were actually a little bit, a little bit higher than the street expected. There's a tremendous amount of content coming on the platform, as as you heard from Bob in, in that in the previous interview. Um, so yeah, we're in the growth phase. They're losing money, uh, but um, you know we expect that the fiscal 22 will be the biggest year of losses, but profitability is still a couple of years out. Yeah, I mean, I, thank you for saying that. I know it's it's a sexy part of the business, the streaming and all the new shows, but it's it's not contributing anything uh, right now. Quickly, John, what about ESPN? Uh, ESPN's had its own issues for a while. They are a big money maker. Uh, how is Absolutely. ESPN doing for Disney? ESPN actually did a, a little bit better than we expected. Um, sports viewership is actually very strong. You saw that at Fox earlier in the day. Uh, sports advertising also been very strong and, and actually cord cutting has gotten a little bit better. So I would say results at ESPN were, were, were better than expected. And um, no, I think they're going to maintain it. I mean, sports and news are what people are watching on TV and ESPN's right there.